Yes, I'm very grateful that we don't get the storm because normally if we get this tropical storm here, the whole place with the underwater. From on the riverside drive from that side go all the way back around, the road is full of water. Apparently, it would have probably the half the car level. It would have. So the journey is need to clean. I will need a proper road down here. And apparently, we're grateful. Because all of our fears are without underwater now. If we get the storm. So we're grateful. But just the gullies want to clean and the road is need to fix. And that's it. From it flood, it flood. So once the flood not get rid of it, it now get no better. So you have to just get rid of the flooding, find out how oh, to get drainage system and them things. Eh? And that will create employment for who they are now working. And who want extra money. The overs, I work with the pumps too. Uh, Ms. Jackson, you are the owner of this house at Janga Gully in Bonbrook, Portland. Tell us what happened this morning. Well, current this morning, um, I was inside when the rain falling. We had breeze and you know, the only tree, something fell along, fell along. And when I run, come around and take a look, the only tree fell right in the middle of the house, mashed on the house. My son was there sleeping. And we have to ice up zinc and debris to get him out from underneath the zinc and debris. We didn't get a lick in a hip, and then after the, after the roof board, two before, or the tree, or whatever. So now I'm walking up, but we can't get into the hospital as yet because we have a problem with asthma. But at the same time, um, as I say, the damage, we create damage. You know, thank God, that's for our life because we are here, we can't talk to you at the moment now. How many are you occupied this house? Four of us. And all four were at home during that time? Yes. Um, what time you actually heard the noise? About six. 35 or 2 or so in the region there. And it was raining at the time? Raining and breeze, a hard breeze. Mm -hmm. About winter time. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, how does this really affect you at this time? Because realize that, um, you know, your, your furniture has been damage. suffered damage and stuff yes, like that. Damage and bed damage. Damage and to the roof. And, um, where will you be spending the, the night? The night. Well, to be frank with you, as we get assistant with a top hauling mm -hmm. spread over the middle part of the hall mm -hmm. middle part of the hall right. so even though there's an opening area section in the middle of the house mm -hmm. but we're going to try to put um, one sheet or something there so okay, we can stay tonight until when it ease up mm -hmm. but for now we kind of back off because the water with the top hauling during that rain and fall so we can rest in the hall part so till time get dry I, I know it's early days yet, but has anybody from the Ministry of Labour and Social Security been here? No, you know, it's Or any councillor? Or... No, no councillor not here as yet. Mm -hmm. that, I don't know, but none has no, no reach up here as yet. Uh, what are your immediate needs now? What is it that, that you actually need at this time? To be frank with you, you know, as I say, when we practically 100% need mm -hmm. or want, it was a top all in the kind of take off because the water to didn't stop damage up the rest or something then. Right. As because three bed night out already wet up and so one of the better tree mash up mash up I think about them. So because it mash up the tree fall and mash up that. So the rest of two bed then wet up. So we have to use sponge for the forty night and you know, the all and whatever. Because the two part of the section of the house broke up but down with the tree and the debris them in the house. So we can't touch nothing, we can't move nothing. 